right in my eyes right now. We're in Versailles. Here's Anna. I'm taking over her vlog. I just want to let you know that we are going on another round of walking today. I got my walking shoes on. Anna has her walking boots on. And um, yesterday the trains went on strike, so we had to walk around Paris multiple times just to get back to our hostel. So I am really tired, but we're gonna make this work because Versailles is beautiful and um, we're really excited. And that guy's running in jeans. He is running in jeans. Versailles is only about 12 miles west of Paris and is easily accessible by train. The town itself is very cute and worth exploring if you have the time. What is something you're really excited about? Eating lunch. <laughs> okay, but I'm um, just about, about <laughs> I got a Nutella beignet and I'm really excited about that. Yes. Um, and my quiche. Yeah. For the palace though, I am hoping there's some history components that I can read about because Anna was giving me a fun, quick and dirty, haha, <laughs> um, rundown of some of the historical facts. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see the iconic, uh, Hall of Mirrors and honestly I'm excited to be in a park I want to touch some grass and like just sit down <laughs> just sit down just to sit down I just want to sit down you can't sit down very often in, in uh, Paris without paying for something <laughs> so sitting down will be fun before entering the palace we visited the gardens to eat our lunch the gardens are free to explore and are the perfect place to relax in the sun, go for a walk, or to even rent a rowboat at the lake. After lunch, we got in line for our reserved time to enter the palace. Okay, so we finally made it inside and the front, like the exterior is so gorgeous. We heard someone say in line that the road before it was paved was just this dirt road in the, in the woods and then you just turn a corner and boom, there's like a glittering gold uh, palace. So, you know, that was pretty cool. Originally the site of a simple hunting lodge, the palace was transformed under the rule of the Sun King, Louis XIV. It went through several changes from 1661 to 1715. Known for its overwhelmingly lavish designs, this palace is one of the most well-known in the world. Room after room is decorated in fine velvet, golden fixtures, and intricate murals on the ceilings above. Versailles is a dramatic example of wealth, built for intimidating foreign visitors with its grandeur. Quick fun fact, during the Sun King's reign, the palace was filled with the royal court and couldn't keep up with the uh, waste of that many people. People. The spectacular palace was more like a spectacular dump, with courtiers relieving themselves in public, dead rats and cats everywhere, and what one could imagine to be the most putrid smells. I could make an eat the rich joke here, but I think I'll just leave it for now. The most iconic part of the chateau is the Hall of Mirrors. Many important moments happened in this hall, including the signing of the Treaty of Paris, ending the American Revolution. The palace and the crowds are a bit overwhelming, even in March, so try to get there early and go during the off season if possible. Absolutely go see it if you're in Paris and take a full day to explore the whole place. But to be honest, by the end of the afternoon, Lauren and I were so exhausted of all the history and we were starting to get a little goofy. Nice eyes, good lips, but those like... Those sideburns are really killing me. Yes, but that was good for the time. Oh, uh, it's giving me musky, so I'm, I'm gonna have to pass. He's giving me frat brows, so pass. <laughs> Victor yes. is an older man, but honestly, I feel like he would kind of simp for me, so I'm gonna say he goes Oh man, this is passing that one. Pass. Smash. After we'd had our fill of the disgusting wealth of the French monarchy, we traveled back to Paris. I insisted that we officially visit the Eiffel Tower when we arrived. Finally, after five days of being in Paris, I am seeing the full Eiffel Tower. <laughs> What do you think? It's really pretty. Is it worth it? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Is that the Eiffel Tower? Is that uh, 
tour you fell? I think I think tour, you did fall. Tour, I think? Yeah. We? Yeah, we fell. Wait. <laughs> it's lighting up right now. Like immediately it's lit. We went to dinner with a girl from our dorm and I tried escargot for the first time. Good morning from Paris. Our original intention for the day was to go to the Champagne region and do some tastings and walk around in a new city for a little while, but Due to the train strikes, it looked like it was going to take way too long and have way too many transfers for us. So we decided to sleep in instead and just hang out in Paris because that's why we're really here, isn't it? To see Paris. This was a super casual day where we visited some vintage shops, ate plenty of sweet treats, and saw a French film. Did we understand a word of it? No, but it was still a fun experience. Even though we were in Paris, we couldn't forget that it was St. Patrick's Day, so of course we went to an Irish bar in the touristy area of town to celebrate. Okay, going to that bar was definitely a mistake. I'm still not sure if it was the cheap green beer, a dirty glass, or the McDonald's we had on the way home, but a few hours later I got sick. Like, sick sick. Lauren started feeling sick too, so we tapped out for the entire next day. But we had tickets for a show that we didn't want to miss, so we hauled our nauseous selves over to a floating theater on the Seine for Le Cabaret Burlesque. This unique show, with a mix of comedy and burlesque, has a diverse cast and is more of a local experience than other burlesque shows that are popular in Paris, and at a fraction of the price. It was worth coming to with food poisoning, so trust me and just go see it while you're there. That's it for this episode. Tune in next week as we spend our last days in Paris with a food tour, a photo shoot, and lunch with new friends. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for even more adventures. See you next time. I you know it's recording right now. I know, but you'll just edit this out. <laughs> okay. She's not gonna do that now that I said that. Right. How do I get you? Okay. Stop it. <laughs>